Hello, I'm Jeff Dugopolsky, but you can call me Big G. I'm an ASC certified master technician, and today I'm going to pressure test a cooling system, and I'm going to be using MightyVax coolant system pressure tester. It comes with multiple adapters. I've chosen the one that fits this vehicle. Remember, whenever servicing an automobile, to always wear the proper safety equipment. First thing you need to know is don't ever take the radiator cap off of a car that's already under pressure. If it's hot, it could be under pressure. So we'll just squeeze the radiator hose. If it's real easy to squeeze, pretty good chance there's no pressure. So we're gonna open this slowly. If there's pressure in there, tighten it back up and stop, let the car cool down. So we'll open it slow. Make sure there's no pressure, we'll take the cap off. It's a little bit low, obviously, because we have a leak. So at this point, we're gonna to have to make sure it's full. I always top them off with water because we're gonna find a leak, we're gonna fix it, we can fill it with coolant then. All right, I'm filled right to the top there. And we'll put our adapter on, and it's just like putting a radiator cap on. You gotta push down on it turn it till it locks into place. The coolant pressure tester actually has a cool quick connect feature on it. Lock that in and we'll pressure test it. Now we're going to pressure test the system. The cap says 16 pounds so we'll pump it up to 16 pounds of pressure. Oh wow I can't even get to 16 pounds of pressure and I've already got a leak. Is spraying out of the thermostat housing here. It's like we'll have to replace that thermostat gasket and then we'll recheck it after that. Well, that was a pretty big leak. So I went ahead and put a new thermostat gasket on it and I'm going to go ahead and repressure test it to make sure the gasket's good and also make sure we don't have any other leaks. So I'm going to pump this back up to 16 pounds. Right there. I'm going to look over the system for leaks. Looks like our thermostat gasket's doing good, and I'm just going to check other places since we never really got it under pressure the first time. Check around the radiator, check the water pump, heater hoses, anything that's got coolant flowing through it could be a suspect for leaks. And it's holding pressure right now, and I don't really see anything. So I'm going to let it sit under pressure for a couple minutes. If it holds, then we had a successful repair. Well, it's been sitting for about five minutes, and we're right at 15 pounds of pressure. So I think we're in pretty good shape. So we'll just relieve the pressure. And we'll remove the tool. Everything's still full. We'll put our cap back on. And I think we have a successful repair thanks to the MightyVac coolant system pressure tester. Until next time, I'm Big G.